after her plane crashed in the desert. Tassie Trenon woke up to find days had passed and the crew had disappeared. She has followed their trail into the caves, looking for her injured husband, Salim. She is beginning to remember having been here before. Press A button to continue. A. We're reloading at the cave. Um, I actually played a little bit beyond this, but the reason episode one was so short was because I had recording issues. OBS decided to screw me over for, like, no reason. It literally, like, I closed it at one point in time, reopened it, and all the settings decided to change, like my recording settings. So it recorded in very low it's quality. All right. I can manage. Come on. Not far now. Uh, so the quality was just really bad. Hello? Is anyone there? Salim! The quality was really bad, and I didn't want to post that as is. On top of that, I had to... It recorded in the wrong file, so I would have had to um, change the file type. I can't even think of words right now. Uh, but yeah, so I was just like, you know what? I'll just go in here and re-record. I didn't get far, so it's fine. We're just going to go through, reread these notes that were all held to read the first time, because there's big words involved, and I don't appreciate it. But I do love the scenery, and, you know... As long as I have light, a light source, I'm content. Hold him more tightly, or the stitching will tear. I, I am sorry. I will be still. Salim, I have you. I have you. He'll be fine. Looks like he got a gash taken out of his side. That seems uncomfortable. That's a lot of blood. Oh, Tao. I got, I really got to stop hitting these, these lean buttons. It's the weirdest thing. When I hit a lean, it moves my camera up by itself. <laughs> this is us. Salim and me. I brought this here. Oh, wow. I actually didn't see that last time. What is it? I, I had something to say to you whole speech something poetic but you don't need to say anything i know it's just <laughs> i never thought this would happen any of this you and me i would never have imagined Selim, there is no one i would rather spend my time with really <laughs> really stop worrying i'm in love with you you idiot got him <laughs> you are my heart desi triano <laughs> Said no poetry. <laughs> That's awesome. I actually didn't see that photo, so I did get that little cutscene before. That's actually really cool. Uh, I do think I am missing a note purely because one of the ones I'm about to pick up says continued. So, unless it, I don't know if it would have been outside the cave back at like the plane or if it was just in here and I didn't notice it, I'm not really sure. So, you know what, I'll do another quick, I'll do another sweep of the area to see if I can't. Uh, oh yeah, this, um, I think this is a mine map. Uh, matches. Nope, I really get, <laughs> I keep trying to hit E to interact, but E is lean. So if you see me do that when I walk up to an item, that's what's happening. Uh, yeah, I'll light these, why not? Light it, L light it, then light it. And then if you go to move, it's burning my finger. Help. All right. Is there anything back here? Moving around too much will cause the match to go out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I love this photo just because I know it's focusing on those two guys on the right. But the people in the left middle, their faces are so distorted. <laughs> like they just look so goofy. Alex and Richard. October 36. Thought you should have this. It captures you both so well. GX. But I can't. I won't stay here. There's something in the tunnels, I swear it. You won't be staying. You'll be with us, and I'll take care of you. Come here. <laughs> but, but, but if you guys are staying, but I'll be with you guys, but if you guys are staying, then I'm still technically staying, and I didn't want to stay because there's something in the caves. I feel like I'm going to be wasting a lot of time in this game. Just pick. Walk. There we go. Uh, just picking stuff up and looking around. 
My darling Amanda. What is this? By now you'll know about the crash. And you'll know that our situation is a bit sticky. We're off for a walk through the desert to see if we can find a radio or a village or some other sort of help. Everyone's putting a brave face on it. But no one really knows what's going to happen. So maybe this is it. Maybe this is the last you'll hear. If it is, I'm sorry, my love. I, I suppose it's my fault for wanting a big adventure. I should have stayed home after all. Please tell them both that I love them. Tell Susan that she's the best girl in the world. And tell Alfie to look after his sister. <sighs> now I'm sitting here with tears in my eyes and my hands are trembling and uh, I just don't know what to write. I don't know how to say goodbye. I can't believe this is goodbye. I love you, my darling girl. I know in my heart We'll see each other again, even if it's not in this life. You're Jonathan. Ah, damn. Um, that was pretty good. I, I, that was pretty good voice acting. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty good. That definitely portrayed the emotion. Man, how many notes did I miss when I was fucking in here? I never noticed that either. Oh my god. Ugh. Employee. Pass number nine. Employee name, Yasmin Shabani. Sterling Shipping Company identification card. All right. Oh. What a beautiful girl. Is that your daughter? Yes. <laughs> My father keeps nagging me for grandchildren. A monkey. Did you leave her in Paris? Yes. Is she with her grand... Yasmin, I'd like to check the Sadiola samples are packed up. Give me a hand. Of course, Mr. Mitchell. Uh, sorry, Hank. We were talking, sir. So rude. That'll learn you. No point lighting these candles. I have light above my head. Ooh, did I just lose frame all of a sudden? What the hell? Yeah. Haha, I knew there'd be something back here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wait, no, this is the continued one. Never mind. I forgot this was back here. Uh, this is what makes me think I've missed something before. Oh, my God. Reading this the last time was so difficult for my brain to comprehend, and I don't see it's going to be much better. It's not that it's hard to understand what's happening. It's just the way the sentences were built that my brain could just barely handle the information I was reading. The colonization of Algeria was rendered difficult by the presence of a native population which already had its own civilization and was nomad and warlike in its instincts. A start was made in the region of the Tell, and then the mountains and high plateau lands were taken in hand. There has been a spontaneous flow of Italian and Spanish immigration, and a system of land grants and other concessions have attracted a large number of immigrants from the south of France who have settled down well into the country. Between 1904 and 1914, 206,000 hectares of land have been settled of which 91,200 were free grants. Mines. The country is rich in minerals, which, however, which, however, have not been thoroughly exploited. The chief mineral resource is iron, the exports of which in 1920 amounted to 1,114,438 tons, valued at 33.879 thousand francs. There are large phosphate deposits in the Constantine province which exported 334,704 tons in 1924, uh, 1920. Wow, see, my brain just cannot handle <laughs> in 1920 to a value of 18 million francs. There are also copper, zinc, lead, and antimony mines. Coal deposits were discovered during the war, and the work of the British and American prospectors in the Oran indicates the possibility of existence of oil fields of some size. Native rights. The valuable help given by the native population of Algiers to France during the World War led, as it did in other parts of the French colonial empire, to a wider recognition of political rights of the native. A law was passed February 4th, 1919, conferring French citizenship on any native Algeria who had either served in the French army or navy, was a landowner, owner, landowner, 
was a landowner, farmer, or a licensed trader, knew how to read and write French, or was a possessor of a French decoration. All right. Don't know what that tells you about anything, but that tells you some things. And I'm a little bit better now. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was weird. I I, I hope I wasn't lagging too much. There's something under here. I thought that was a knife. It is not a knife. It is a brush. Uh, I don't need to light you. There's enough light. Eva Ritter. Eva Ritter, geologist. Papers, German. Will need a visa. Traveling, Hamburg. Geologist, hired by Triple Crown. Good references. Had a brief telephone call. Very German. Very precise. Package deal with a second gun. Lucas, her husband. Note to Rachel to sort out some sleeping arrangements. They'll want to be together. Okay. A German geologist. How lovely. Yeah, I think this is about the... I think... I seem to spend my life around efficient women who think I'm not taking things seriously enough. <laughs> Way to go. I don't remember if I even walked around the rest of this cave or not. I think uh, I think the first time I played, I gave up on that one note. That was really hard. What the f Oh, God. I get... Oh. I get it! Yeah. It didn't break like I wanted it to. So I'm going to take my anger out. Ha! That's better. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> Destruction. Oh. Oh. And then sadness. I actually almost didn't even notice there's a little ledge here. Uh, but yeah, no, I think the first time I loaded this up, I, I was so tired. I was trying to read that, but I was so out of it and tired as well that I just couldn't read that note. Oh, that's a grave. So we found another one. So that's where the... Okay, the... Uh, Oh. Oh no. Uh, we, we found two. Who are you? I don't remember seeing you on the plane. Salim, I'm sorry. Without Lucas, I cannot bear it. The rest of you, this is not Salim's fault. Whoa. I am of sound mind. If I return. What the hell? I just read about you, woman. You weren't supposed to be dead already? I okay, guess. So without Lucas. So Lu I'm going to assume Lucas is in the grave right next to me. Did she, Wait, did she overdose? On that? Oops. Well, it duplicated. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going to say she overdosed. I still don't know what this stuff is. Um, so I'm going to assume that's Lucas. This is Eva. Um, she said sorry to Salim that she couldn't handle it, but then she told everybody else that it wasn't Salim's fault. So what were they? Was it were they just staying in this area because of Salim being injured, and then he died here? So they were like, "Oh, well, then it's his fault." Uh, Lucas, I think. Well. Rip. Uh, what? Hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm not having a stroke, right? That That's German. My my brain, is, that's really hard. My brain was not, what? <laughs> I, I can truthfully admit that I was not ready to pick up a German note. A note of German. Well, I know they said she was German, but, but what does this say? Oh god, I keep hitting E. Shovel, hey! Wake up! Tell me what this says! Translate for me! I know you're sleeping. Give me something else to throw. That looks like a recent burning. I keep trying to zoom in as well, like horror games would have, allow you to do. Sorry, Lucas, don't want to walk on your grave. Wake up and explain this note! God damn it. That's it, I'm digging him up. He'll tell me. <laughs> like a car was like locking up their tires in dirt that was a weird sound yeah. the fuck is that noise excuse me um i actually didn't open this last time either celebration i want to say anastasia 
tree and none. So I'm assuming my sister? Engineering drafter. Papers not needed. French national. Uh, Tassi, Tassi. Uh, I can't even remember if that's how her name was pronounced. <laughs> really don't know how best to handle this. Sure she'll cope in the field. This is not a difficult trip. We've been through much worse. But the last year has been hell for her. That call from Paris. Betty. She sounded so broken. Guess all I can do is look out for her. I'm trying to keep her busy. Need to prod Malik and Rachel to do the same. She's got Salim here too, which will help. I really hope this is what she needs. That it can start mending things for her. For both of them. So I'm going to assume I've lost my child. Hey, I promise I won't bring this up again, but... I know this won't be easy on you. First time out again, you know? <laughs> so, if you want a break, you want to get away from people, any of that, just say whatever you need. Damn. I actually didn't read anything on this. I didn't even, I don't even remember seeing this table. Uh, is that our flight plan? Okay. Possible radio transmitter. Assume negative 10, negative 9 people. Oh, 10 to 9 people. Two days of water, one day's food, rope, three rifles, one lantern, four bottle oh, lamp oil, four boxes of matches. So is this telling me kind of what's in the what we have? Like, is there a lantern I can grab? <laughs> uh, paper. Kindle for firing, fuel, question mark. Two blankets, one medical kit. Needle and thread, other compass. All right, so this is all just like, oh, the, the, it was 10 people and it's scratched out to nine. Oh, I get it. Okay, so this is the, this is the team. So Lucas was the rifle. And he's dead. Geologist is dead. Yasmin was the hostess. Malik is a guide. Salim is a guide. I know I'm reading this all out of order, but it's just a... Uh... And then they crossed out. So they ch I assume the check marks where everybody had made it through the wreck. Or at least they were all there at the time of leaving. And then they crossed out the two that I guess died maybe the uh, maybe from the wreck go? I don't know um, I still love that you get that little icon from like old amnesia days it really brings back all right I think uh, I'm gonna just say I've looked everywhere and move on I know I've been here for a while but I, I know the beginning of this is gonna have to be story heavy to you know make sense To those who follow, I am Salim Hanachi. I crashed with the crew of the Cassandra on March 3rd, 1937. I and others were injured. We stayed while the rest of the crew went for help. My companions are dead now, and the radio is broken. I cannot wait alone. There is some sort of creature here. I must go after the crew as best I can. They followed the path through the mountain. I will leave signs. Tazi, if I do not find you, and by some chance you are reading this, know that you are my heart. We better not find this man heartless now. <laughs> um, so, he went to... So, some of the people went through the mountain. He was injured, so he stayed behind, but everybody around him died. I mean, I'm assuming that like the girl that was in there was like the last one. Um, so he's saying he can't stand here alone, so he's going to look for them, but where the, f and she's saying, Tassie, if you, if I do not find you, like, did I go with the people or w did I just vanish or something? Like what the, where was I during this whole thing? Uh, why couldn't you wait? I mean, I'll find you. I promise. to be fair, I mean, it, it's been a couple days and he was in a cave by himself. I don't think I need to light this. And I'm assuming like other horror ga or other amnesias, being in the dark too long will affect my sanity. So it's good that we're going into a, a cave. 
Alien face? Okay. Salim. I like this golden path. Like, this is... There's an actual path going through the mountain, and it actually seems kind of cool. Yeah, I don't want to go into the darkness. I want to go this way. This, oh, of course. You son of a bitch. I get, I'm glad I radiate light. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, no, this would be an interesting thing, like, to actually have a path going through a mountain like that and, like, walk through. That'd be cool. But it can only be done by aliens, though. It's the truth. A note, I think. He said he'd leave a trail. I went to see Monsieur Esperandio at the market, but... He has no more work until next week. I know that Tazi has savings, and I know that something will come, but it is hard. It is not just two of us now. I want to know that I'm keeping them safe. So he's ripping out... This is from Salim's old diary. Yeah, so he's ripping out journal pages to leave a trail, which means even he couldn't go that way. This is a creepy tunnel. I'm not sure this is the best idea. Yeah, me neither. Oh, good, good. Well, at least there'll be things for me to light along the darkness. Oh, Jesus. That was creepy. I didn't know what... I thought something was running up on me. Hello, little guys. I didn't really want to step on you. Alright, so we got three paths here. Uh, I assume some might be dead. dead. Oh, hi. Right, yep. Dead end immediately. Cool. Uh, I hate stalactites. Ooh. Didn't like that. Oh, 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 good, good, good. Alright, so they both led to the same spot. Let me, yep, let me light that. And, and you. Anything else? Nope, you're just a rock. Cool. All right. So we're just, you know, getting into it. Oh, there's footsteps. Oh, I, I actually... Oh, cool. So I'm literally just going to... I should keep an eye on the ground. Yeah, there's not a snake in here, right? Okay, we're going <laughs> to... Cool. Thank you for the matches. All right. So I can follow the foot... I'm assuming it's not me leaving those footsteps because I haven't walked this far forward yet. So I got five he masks left. He can't have gone far. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Made it before the match went out! Fuck you! Is this a chest? No. Jump. That's game mechanics, so that's moving on. Nope. She's sleeping now. Maybe dreaming, curling, and uncurling tiny fingers. I sit here, no. looking at her, and I still can't believe this. And I deserve it. What did you do then? Any of it. I mean, I feel like that's pretty much how we would all feel. Uh, is there anything? I think this is a dead end immediately. I could light that. That's just the, like the bottom of a face. There's probably an achievement if you go around and you light everything in the game. Um, but you know, I'm not going to worry about that for now. Uh, going towards the light. Screw the darkness. Ah, oh, fuck you, you dick. Nope, oh, fuck you. Fuck you. What the hell? I wonder what... Is there anything back here, though? Real quick. If this is the way I have to go, is this just a dead end? Give me like, give me like, give me like, give me like. Nope, dead end. Got it. I don't know what's happening to me. We're fine. I guess that's... I don't know if that's supposed to signify fear, or if there's actually something wrong with me. Wait, no. When I was on the plane, it looked like it was in my van, so that is definitely something wrong with me. What the hell is this little shopkeep? It reminds me <gasps> of somewhere else. Feel the safe in here. a bit like the shrine at Douvres. Back home. So much better in here. Yeah, no, I feel you. I feel that. Um, so is this like a safe zone from my whatever's wrong with me? Snake. Oh, good. Matches. Well, there's just matches in this ancient cave system of whatever the hell's going on here. Um, who the hell broke a pot? You, you freaking monsters. 
This looks interesting. Holy Mother, hear my plea. Please don't let me die horribly. There you go. I finished it. I like this a lot. Like, what is with this, like, shot? Like, you got windows, even though it's a cave, but it's, like, so you can see people walking by, I guess, if you're in here. I know it's not really a shop. It's a shrine, but, like, this is such an interesting thing. Like, it's just a room that they just put up a wall. Like, I feel like I'm in, like, rust or something, and they just built this. And they can lock the door for some reason. Like, so there, there must have been some kind of, um constant path like constant traveling from people i assume or something like through these caves uh, there's gotta be some what if i kneel in front of this thing right that's the thing that i can do crouch oh whoa i can't move hide mode oh god hide move makes you less visible but unable to oh good i didn't i didn't even know i could do that but okay oh okay. did i close it did I lock it? I thought I just cl closed the door. I'm not going to close it because I don't want it to lock me out. The minute I walked out, their voice has started. So, yeah, I'm going to assume this is a safe zone. Fuck you. Give me a light. I don't want to use all my candles. Is that a light source over here? A letter came from Hang Mitchell. He offers her work. A journey to French Sudan. I pray that she will take it. It is what she needs, what both of us need. To be away from these memories and back into the world. Okay, so they're definitely trying to escape something. Hi, little beetle. I'm assuming as long as I'm in a menu or a, in a letter type of thing, that the game around me pauses. Even though it's not, there's still movement going on. Uh, I'm not getting any scared, more scared. So I'm going to go off of that assumption. <laughs> Didn't know there was a light right what next to me, though. I don't know. What's happening? Oh, good, good. That's lovely. All right. That's not creepy at all. Let's go. Let's trust the old wood. If an injured man can do it, I can do it too, right? Oh, motherfucker. We're almost in light. We're fine, right? We got this. Go, 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 go. Just make it to the light and you won't. Oh, fucking Christ. Oh, Jesus. You got this. 